Good morning children. How are you all? I hope that you all are fit and fine. Welcome back to your online science class. Children, in the last class we were discussing about dry cell and the structure of bulb. Children, now you have to draw a well labeled diagram of the dry cell which we have discussed in the earlier class and also you need to make a diagram of a bulb, electric bulb which we have discussed in the earlier class. But today we are going to discuss another topic that is electric circuit. Okay, children as we know that when we attach electric bulb to the electric uh, cell or dry cell with the help of wire then it glows. So the point is how actually it goes, what is going on, what the chemical phenomena is going on inside this so that the bulb glows. If we simply put switch or switch on the light then it glows, the bulb glows and the electric appliances work just because of the flow of energy. Then how this flow of energy takes place within the wires. So here today we are going to discuss about the electric circuit. Just watch this video carefully then we will do discussion about it later. The flow of electrons around the circuit and the path through which electricity flows is called electrical circuit. The flow of electric current in a circuit is caused due to the flow of electrons through the wires. Electrons flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the cell. But remember, the direction of flow of electric current is opposite to that of the flow of electrons. That is. So children, here in this video, you have seen what is electric circuit. In an electric circuit, the flow of electron takes place. Means when the flow of electron takes place in a definite path, so that path is known as electric circuit in which the current flows because of the flow of the electron in the electric circuit. In this diagram, you can see that this is the positive terminal, this is the negative terminal, while it is a bulb, and this one is switch. Chicken. Then this is the path in which electrons flow. So children, when we switch on the circuit, means when the circuit is completely closed, means if there is no break between the battery and the bulb. Children, you can, you can see here that this is the battery which have positive and negative terminal which is attached to the bulb with the help of wire and here is a switch. So if we want to switch on, switch on means the circuit, the circuit will be closed, means there will be no break in between the wire or battery or the bulb, right? But when this uh, circuit is open, here you can see that there is a break between two wires, switch so may you can see that there is some break. So this kind of circuit is known as open circuit. While when it will be connected with this wire, then it will be known as closed circuit. So children, just keep in mind that electricity flows only in the closed circuit, not in the open circuit. And children, electricity flow in this path, electricity flow in the definite path is known as electric circuit. So this is the diagram of the electric circuit which is forming a complete Path, which is on a complete circuit in which electron flows from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Just keep in mind children, this is a very important point that in a circuit, in a circuit the electrons moves from the negative terminal to the positive terminal while the current moves in, the current flows in opposite direction to the electrons. It means the current positive terminal to the negative terminal. Okay children, means in an electric circuit the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal while the electrons flows from the negative terminal to the positive terminal and the flow of the current is because of the flow of the electron in a circuit. From positive to negative terminal. Electric circuit has four parts. A source of electricity like 
a cell or a battery. Electrical appliance which works due to the electric current. A metal wire for providing the path for flow of electric current, example a copper wire. And a switch or a key which regulates the flow of current in a circuit. Electric current will flow only in a closed and complete circuit and never in an open or incomplete circuit. Electric switches can be commonly seen in houses, offices. Electric switches can be commonly seen part. So children, here you have seen that to form an electric circuit, we need four things. The first thing, the source of energy, that is a battery or cell. Okay, the source of energy we need. The electric appliance, it may be a bulb, it may be a TV, anything, whatever you want to grow. Chicken. So, there will be electric, there, here we have taken an electric bulb as an electric appliance. Metallic wire, because we know that metal is a good conductor of electricity, so the wire in which electrons can flow, flow in which the electricity can flow, and the switch by which we can regulate the flow of the electron, by which we can regulate the flow of the current in a circuit. So this is the switch by which we can switch on or off, means we can control the flow of electricity in a circuit. So this is the structure which we have seen is that to form an electric circuit we need four things that is one battery, one electric appliance that is bulb, a wire and the switch. Children just see this diagram carefully and we know that the, that the cell has positive and negative terminal. It is a positive terminal and it is a negative terminal which is connected with the bulb positively and here you can see that this is a closed path means there is no break but when we switch off this then there, it will be an open path it will be an open path so children the point is that you have to make if there is a project related to this topic you have to make a project based on this electric circuit you have to prepare a project on electric circuit in which you need three four things that is uh, battery, uh, uh, bulb, generally a torch bulb, wire and the switch. In this way you have to show that how this electric circuit works. Okay children and one more thing if you will see here that for the flow of the electric current, example a copper wire, the current will flow. In this diagram you can see children that this is the open circuit as I told you earlier also if the circuit is open, then the current will not flow, while the circuit is closed, only then the current will flow and, and the bulb will glow. So, this, this kind of circuit is known as complete circuit, while the open circuit is known as incomplete circuit. So, this is how children we have studied about the circuit and in the next class we will discuss about the insulator and conductors. Till then, thank you. Have a nice day ahead.